Welcome to an Empower PL video tutorial. Today we're going to be diving into Google Docs. We're going to start with some basics in creating a doc, being able to title it and sharing it and getting that link so that we can collaborate with others in our docs. So what you see on the screen here is I'm already inside my Google Drive account and I'm already in a folder where I want to add my document. You of course are gonna make that choice as far as if you want to add it to a particular folder or if you just want it to sit in your Google Drive. I wanna add it to my folder called Demo Folder One. So once I have my folder selected, I'm gonna click on the new button up at the top left and from the drop down menu, I'm gonna select Google Docs. That's going to pop open a new tab with my Google Doc. It's going to load it, and you'll, you're going to notice that up at the top left, it currently says Untitled Document. So the very first thing you want to do is to title your document. So I'm going to go ahead and click right in that section, and you'll notice that when my mouse hovers over where it says Untitled Document, you can see kind of like a little box around uh, the words Untitled Document. So I'm going to click in there and simply rename this document, and I'm going to call it Demo Doc. Three. Okay. Once you have your title, you can go ahead and start actually typing away and uh, and you know creating your document, whatever it is that you want to add um, to this particular doc here. Now I've already set one up that has some content on purpose because I wanted to show you a couple of uh, things that you can actually do once your document is ready to go and it's ready to be shared, etc. So now that you have your document populated with some content, perhaps at this point, um, you want to actually share it with some people so that they too can collaborate in the document with you. So up at the top right, you'll notice that there is a blue button. And if you've created this document within a folder that has not been shared with any of your colleagues yet, then you still have to share this document. So let's go ahead and click on the share button. And that's going to open up a, a window that's going to give you some sharing options. The very first thing you want to do is to add that person's email address. So I'm going to go ahead and start typing in my Gmail account. I'm going to select it there and you'll notice that I have a couple of options here. One of which is to determine what kind of rights I want to give this person. You have three options. View rights only allows them to see what's on the document, but they can't actually make any changes to your document. A commenter allows that user to be able to both view the, uh, the content within the document and also add comments that appear on the right hand side of that document. So really, this is meant for somebody who's giving you maybe just feedback, but not um, but you don't want that person to edit the document itself. And lastly, um, editor, which is the default selection, is uh, what's going to give that person rights to be able to collaborate with you on the document itself. So they're going to be able to jump in, add some text, edit cut, paste, change the formatting, et cetera. So that's a person really truly who you want in your document with you collaborating on the content you have. So we're gonna leave it at, at editor. And then you'll notice over here um, within that window as well, there's a little check mark that says notify people. This is gonna send an email to that person and it's going to let them know, hey, I've just shared a document with you. Um, and in that email that they get, they're gonna be able to click on a link that takes them directly into this document. You can of course add a message. All right, we added a message. And then lastly, um, you just have to click on the blue button that says send. And that person is going to be getting an email um, again with the link to this document. Now I wanna show you really quick, this is important to note, if that person happens to be outside of your school. So let's say for example, you shared a document with maybe a guest speaker that you're inviting um, to present at a conference that your school's putting together, or perhaps you're sending um, some uh, rules, classroom rules or instructions or guides, things like that maybe to parents where a parent wouldn't have a Google account, then you would see this pop-up message that says you are sharing with an account that is not within your Google workspace. In other words, it's not an account within your school. Um, and you need to then decide, oh no, oops, I didn't mean to do that. You cancel or you of course say share anyway, like I would in this example, because I do wanna share it and then click on send and that item will now be sent to that person. So again, that person's gonna receive an email and when they get that email, they're gonna be able to click on a link that's gonna take them directly to this particular document. So that's an easy way to certainly share documents that you're creating um, within your Google Drive. Of course, if you have shared a folder, so we actually came in and had shared our folder to begin with. 
So if I right click on my folder and click on share, and if I share this particular folder with that same person, let's say this is a colleague I'm working with, another fellow teacher um, that works with me in the same English department and where you know, we collaborate all the time, building lessons, et cetera, together, then anytime I actually uh, create a document or a spreadsheet, et cetera, within that folder, so let's go ahead and create another document, you're going to see that that particular um, document is already going to be shared with that person or the, uh, those groups of people that um, that folder has been shared with. And, and that's really nice because you're not every time having to go in and sharing that particular um, document every single every single time you create something new. You don't have to go to the blue button and click on the share button every single time because it would have already been um, shared. So that's an easy shortcut way. Um, to be able to do that. So again, if you share the folder, anything within that folder is gonna be shared with that person automatically. So really nice um, to be able to have that happen right away. So we're gonna call this demo um, doc four. Um, and then again, that document um, is going to be automatically shared. So I wanna show you what that looks like. So we're gonna come back up again to the share button and you'll notice it already says shared with one person because again, it was within that folder that was shared with that other account. And you can see my other account that I added here that already has editing rights because that person has editing rights to that folder. So really quick and easy way to um, be able to share with people is by simply sharing the folder and then adding documents um, into that folder. So again, that was just some easy, quick ways to um, create a document, title your document, and then be able to share it. Last thing I wanna show you is um, how to really just get a link that perhaps you wanna share with people. Um, and so if I come to any of my documents here, I can go up here to the top right and click the plus button there to be able to share with a person from there without having to open the document so you don't actually have to go open it and then go to the share button but you can do it directly from there and of course if you just want to get the link it automatically google does this for you it'll automatically create a link that is a shareable link and if that person currently doesn't have rights that you know you haven't added that person but really you just want to give that person view rights uh, and not necessarily um, uh, share the document with edit rights you can also come down here where it says get link and change um, these options down here to say anyone with a link. And then in the drop down menu, you can select view, commenter, editor. And we're going to leave it at view. And I'm going to copy that link because perhaps I want um, my principal to be able to view this document, but maybe not necessarily edit. But I do want my colleagues that are working on this lesson with me to be able to edit. So you, ha you have control over who can, who can edit, who can view, who can comment. And there are different ways to certainly um, share those links. So just another way um, to grab that link and share it with somebody, of course, from here. Once you've copied that link, you obviously want to go to your email and send that link um, to that person. Hope this has been helpful, and um, I hope you are able to utilize these tools to be able to collaborate and work on all things uh, education. <laughs>